Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Wix the Resources Soviet Republic. Um, so we had a bit of a death wave in the last episode and I think I've got it under control now. We're still losing people of course, but our births is outstripping our deaths. I've moved, excuse me, I've moved a fair few of our over 21s back into this area. And I'll have to still do a few manual moves. But hopefully we can get back up to the 60,000 mark soon. We will not be able to sustain the Republic if we uh, if we really drop that um, too much. So that's something that I just need to uh, bear in mind a little bit as we um, as we continue. So I think one of the things is um, our escapes is getting a little bit out of hand, and I do think it's due, it's due to clothing um, availability. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little small clothing setup over here as uh, as an add on to this. Um, we should be able to get most of the stuff that we need. So if we go modded factories, clothing factory is what I'm after. There we go. This one, um, it takes uh, only fabric. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, so it takes, only takes fabric and of course then workers. So how much pollution does this produce? Two tons per year, as opposed to this one is on two tons per year as well, and this one is 10 tons per year. Yes, okay. So it's not a very high pollutant industry. So what I was thinking is maybe about two of them somewhere over here, with, so that uh, so that we can we can get the um, the guys to walk from from the train station. I think that's that's the thing. So we can get our workers to. Um, to walk straight in. So I'm thinking uh, one maybe right over here. Mm. Well, it depends a little bit. Do we want to bring in fabrics by terrain? Of course, we want to bring in fabrics by terrain. So let's um, let's grab one of uh, one of those other ones that actually has the train slot within it. So if we go storage, storage if we go this way I believe this is the one that I'm after right uh, no not that one this one uh, this one can do fabric and clothing a fair bit and it's got a double oh man that's beautiful that is beautiful so what I was thinking is we'll have to and I, I don't mind moving some of those around FYI but we just need to make sure that we've got um, the appropriate angles for the rail so I'm thinking maybe uh, we'll need to maybe something like this, okay? And we'll move the power lines. It's not the issue. Um, maybe if we squeeze it a little bit like so. So we do something like that. Then if we have a look at the factories, the idea is have a look at the factories and see if we can't squeeze in the clothing factories. And we, we, we're probably definitely going to have to... We could squeeze it. We could squeeze it. The other thing that we can, of course, do is bring in um, grain. Yeah, but I think it's chemicals as well, isn't it? Chemicals will be available over here, though. So we could run chemicals around here. Let's try that one again. So we could certainly squeeze one of them in here. That would be just fine. So we could do we could do something like that. Wow, this thing. There we go. One of them over here, and we could squeeze another somewhere like this, so that we could tie in our uh, a direct connection with our um, to the train line. I think that's going to be the uh, most appropriate one. Um, if we go fabric. What does fabric need? Yeah, fabric needs chemicals as well, plus crops. Um, so we could certainly do one of them. It, it wouldn't be... If we... Uh, unfortunately, if we do this, though, we're not going to be able to get... We really need it in here somewhere. Hmm. I'm, a, I'm tempted to play around with this a little bit. I'm tempted to play around with this a little bit. Back again, mod. Um, let's do one of these. How much does this actually create? 5.8 tons at a maximum production. And these guys do... Uh, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio, generally speaking. 
Yeah, I think we're probably going to have to do that. So if we do these guys, they're pretty small. They're pretty small, so if we squeeze... We'll have to see if that'll, if that'll even work. Uh, where's the rail going to go? If we do something like that, no need to, um, no need to connect them. And then if we try and do something, it's just a slightly big, it's just a tad too big, really. Well, alternatively, let's just do, let's just do that. This will actually work and we can maybe expand in the future. I think this will work and we can expand in the future. And this will be a massive increase in, in clothing production to what we've got at the moment. So let's, uh, let's get rid of that one. The one-to-one -one that I show there, I'm thinking I'm quite comfortable with. Let's go modded storage. And uh, let's get the, uh, the one that we're after. It was, uh, was this one. And now what we'll do is we'll just make sure we tie it in here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We could always expand. But I like this idea. So if we do that. Nice. So now we'll have um, fabrics being produced over here. So we need to bring in crops over here. Uh, we'll get a distribution office to bring chemicals over from that side. That's basically what we'll do. That's not too bad, is it? Uh, let's try and see if we can get our road connections to work. I'm sure this should work. Well, definitely not, we're definitely not going to get it to the side. We'll need to, hmm. We could do it slightly differently. Let's, uh, let's move this one around a little bit. We could turn that. We could turn that one. I do like the fact that it's not completely square all the time, but uh, it's just what it is. Until we can get the underground stuff, which I'm so looking forward to, um, we're going to probably have a little bit of a challenge on our hands with some of these things. So, I'm quite comfortable with that. I'm quite comfortable with that. We should be able to find a little bit of a walking spot, uh, I mean a road spot. And then walking to these should be pretty straightforward. Can we, come on, we need to find a spot where we can cross. I'm pretty sure we'll have somewhere where we can cross here. Oh, I may have to move that rail a little bit, a little bit. I may have to just move that rail a little bit. So let's uh, let's move that rail a tad. Uh, we are playing the game, so let's pause it for a second uh, while we do that. And we're of course going to have to do some stuff on this side too. I'm going to do it over there. Not. Yes, that looks that looks awesome. That's fine. I'm gonna pay for that, no problems. And because I want this set up pretty quickly, can I run through there? I can indeed run through there. I may have to change things out just a tad over here. So the idea is that we will split off. Do something like that, and what we'll probably want to do is, uh, is, 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 is relocate this just a little bit. Just a little bit. So we ne never planned out for this, so this is a completely new... Um, Something like that, maybe? Yeah, I think that should be okay. Now, the question is over here. Um, I'm assuming we would like to go back into that direction, right? Or do we tie it back in over there? Oh, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. I, I, I Honestly, I don't like... Um, tying into the main line as frequently as we do over here. So maybe what we do is we... Um, I 
we do this. Uh, and, and to be honest, we can just do that. We don't need we don't, don't need a dual line. And uh, I'll just tie it back in over there. Yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do so that this becomes its own little self-sustaining little section so we don't um, mess around with what, we do, what we're doing over here. So we're just going to continue to, to have this single access point over here and that exit. And that's really not a, not a difficult uh, distance to gather. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of these two, uh, I mean these, these lines. I'm going to sort them out as soon as I'm able to. So let's just do that. We'll get our rail connection. I I like it. I well, it's it's it doesn't look amazing, but I like it. I like it. It's a little it's a little busy. It's a little busy. Uh, no no not a problem. I'm gonna pay for that. No problems. Um, as I said in the last episode, uh, we've got so much money. Um, for us to be struggling to get stuff built that we need urgently um, is really uh, not that much fun anymore. So I'm going to bring this guy in here. We'll close off that and we'll tie that up there. Excellent. Let's um, get the power restored. Uh, we'll need some signaling restored over here pretty quickly. Um, so I'll probably squeeze a little something right there and we may have to drop that one, that's okay. And then we'll um, provide for accesses right over here. It's going to keep that whole thing pretty busy. Like so, and we'll just... Um, squeeze in a couple more of these, we probably need a bit of a chain there and there, and then out, come on, that would have been such a great spot for it, there we go, that's good, that will in fact work, so now the operation should work, we can get these things built, I'm, I'm going to pay for that, so we can uh, get everything running, we're going to need, um, we are going to need, Let's uh, pay for that, we'll pay for that. We'll need a little bit of a pedestrian path over here. So what I'm pretty keen on is we should be able to be excellent. There we go. I think that will work reasonably well. Pay for that. If we have a look at our um, at our walking distances, oh man, beautiful! So this is such a lovely little setup. I think this guy will quite smoothly connect off over there. Nice, nice. It works really well. Now I can bring fabrics. Ah, oh, actually, fabrics will be created over here. So all we need to do is bring in chemicals. The chemicals needs a bit of a distribution office. So let's um, see what we have. We should have a distribution office around. Uh, what's going on here? Why are you stationary? What? Now there's an issue. You've got no problems whatsoever. There's a signaling problem here, so luckily I've spotted that because that is just not on. There we go. Unbelievable that we still get some bugs like that. That's a little weird. Anyway, so this should work. All we need to do is make sure the crop train actually, we need to bring crops in here. We need to bring crops in here and uh, chemicals. So we have uh, this guy. Okay, let's bring in some, um, so we need chemicals. So let's bring in our chemicals. Oh, sorry, we need a few trucks. So what I'll do is I'll just grab yeah, um, I've uh, filled up a few. Um, I filled up a few uh, hospitals with ambulances, so now I'm making ambulances again. Now let's move these guys in here. Okay, so they will be able to move our chemicals over once we're ready with that. Now the question is, crop trains. We're just dropping off so much crops right over here, right? These are probably crop trains or something. Yeah, there's a crop train there. Uh, and we will, it will be ages before we empty this guy out. 
So what I'm kind of tempted to do is drop some crops before you go over there. You drop some crops over here. Uh, the issue with that, I don't think it's the. It's, I don't think that's a big issue. I don't think it's a big issue. So let's um, let's limit what we can store here, and this of course will need to have fabric. So no electronics, no plastics. Um, I can actually play the game. I don't have to pause it. Uh, no mechanical components, no electronic components. We'll definitely want clothing. We don't want any food in here. We don't want any alcohol. We don't want any fab... Uh, we do want fabrics. We don't want any chemicals, but we do in fact want some crops. Um, so let's just make a bit of fabric in here as well. So about that much. How much does this thing actually do? 23 tons gives you uh, maximum consumption per day is 23 tons and that gives you 5.8 tons of that. So that's about 10 days worth of stuff and we'll never fill that up. So 10 days is about 50. So really we can drop that down a fair bit. So something like that that's still just over 10 days. It's like 12 days or something. And yeah, that's fine. I think that's about the right kind of kind of ratio. And there'll be a fair bit of room that we can continue. We don't necessarily need to, you know what? We don't need to store that much fabric. We just do up to about 30 tons of fabric. Um, that should be fine. This guy can, that's like a number of days worth. So I think that's about the right ratio there because we don't necessarily want to do any other fabric pieces here. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go and grab my, what was the train that's actually coming in here? We had a grain, no, 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 not there. We had a grain train here, shopping distribution. That's the grain train, what's its name? Meat grain. Let's get the meat grain train to drop um, stuff over here first. So if we go here, meat grain, grain imports, meat, that's that one, really. Okay, so after you've picked it up, I would like you to please come by and drop it off, unload whatever you can over here, and then move on. And it's probably gonna be minuscule, really. So let's do that, so at least now we'll get that going. And we've got these guys that we can hopefully sort out. So we'll have some clothing to sort out over here. So our clothing distribution we can probably start running in from over here. That is a uh, that is an option. Oh, the one thing I missed out on is a little road connection right here. Can I, please? Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is this is like it's planned. Like it's planned. Uh, let's actually let's let's do this one from over here. Give it a little bit. Oh, look at that! Look at that, guys! Look at that! Nice, there we go. Now we'll have workers and everything, but how many workers are we actually dropping off here? It should be a fair bit. Yeah, our workers rushing in everywhere. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. I'm hoping we can get uh, we can get these things sorted fairly quickly. Lots of workers that we can have working out over here. I think that's a very a very neat little uh, industrial complex over here. Um, a little bit of spare capacity on, on probably on, on, the, on this, 4.9, while this one uses 3. So it's a little bit of spare capacity. So we've got, we've got to have a bit of a surplus of plastics being, being produced over there. But I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. I am comfortable with it. Uh, to be honest, we could have maybe just done the one plastic factory into two of those guys. But I think these smaller setups over here is, might, might be a little bit more... It, it, it saves on a lot of travel traveling and I think it looks pretty neat with regards to the um, the rail I'm, I'm happy that I haven't tied it back in here again it would have been a bit of a mess to tie it in there so I'm quite quite comfortable with that have we received our yes so our, uh, our stuff has arrived here so what we're keen on doing is you're gonna pop in over here okay you're gonna grab some some of this and you're gonna make your way over here and you're gonna unload that stuff right there until it's 90 and that should be okay uh, to be honest you don't need to store any crops so we'll just get you to store um, 15 tons of that and um, the crops will all be from directly from over here that's gonna be cool 
that's going to be cool. So now they're going to bring in some some um, <clears throat> some chemicals, and we should see crops arriving fairly soon. In which case, all of that should work. Oh, these 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 warehouses work lovely. I think this is going to be just great. Yeah, it's just like about two buses. Uh, ooh. Oh, they don't take that much actually when they are when they're taking these guys. Three point one tons. Uh, I think, yeah, maybe. Anyway, it's practically full now. It's going to be one more little little stint of these guys, and that's going to be just fine. And then we, we're ready to go with the chemicals. Uh, we are missing the, the crops. And we did have power here, right? Building is without a power supply. Ah, can we move our power around a little bit? That one would have power. This one has power too. Really? What's this like? Yeah, I should probably... I should probably try and move this guy. Too many connections? And that one? That one was almost nothing. That's a little weird. Does this take so much more power than these? It seems like it. It seems like it. Okay, well, we'll move that one then. We'll move that one. Let's pause the game while we uh, get rid of some of these things. So I do, and we'll, we'll just try and move it in here, and that should hopefully give it uh, give us everything we need. I'm going with the modded one again. I do like them a little bit better. Substation, this guy. So if I do this, right over there, I believe we'd have everything covered. We don't have the train station covered. The, this guy should cover there. I think this is fine. I think this is going to be just fine. Now we've got the fire department covered, but I don't think that's necessary. We're just going to pop it in there. I'm going to get these two constructed, and we're uh, we're going to put the, the cables back. And then, should be all sweet. Now you should, this has power, but we're missing fabrics. It's still interesting that it doesn't consume that much. While this one on this side seems to be overly exhausted. Oh, what's dropping off over here? Here comes our fabrics. That'll be all the... Oh, it won't be all the fabrics, actually. So I'll... I was just thinking we have uh, crops. Um, so I'm just going to send this guy back straight away. I think with that in mind, yeah, fabrics will now be produced. Uh, let's just make you go back and get some more crops. Wouldn't mind getting some massive crop production going at some point, but I don't think that's something that's going to be <clears throat> a feasible arrangement for us. Uh, is fabric being produced? It's not being pushed over, so we'll have to get um, we'll have to get our first 14 tons in there before it'll push over to the uh, to the to the warehouse. Yeah, so we're going to need a little bit of that, but that's okay. Pop in there, get our fabrics up and running. Is this another crop train? I believe we'll fill this one up and now we'll, we'll have a, a ready to go. Now, now it's going to be easy. We're never going to use massive amounts of crops for this going forward. So now it will, uh, will work quite well. I like this setup actually. It's, it's a, this loop is a little funny but I don't mind it too much. It, it looks tight. Okay, so now we have got everything we need. We are producing um, a uh, fabrics at a pretty slow pace. We just need to get more workers over there. So maybe what we need to do is uh, trim down on workers here. We'll just switch this one down for the time being. And maybe it's about time we get another train to run this route. Um, how is our population looking at the moment? It's still not quite stabilized, but it will. But definitely we are going about double the rate. And then once we have a bit of clothing going on, that'll be, uh, be pretty good. So we'll just keep that going for the time being. There's a fair bit of people coming in. Hopefully we can get um, a lot of people to work on this and get way more fabrics being produced. Yeah, I think so. As soon as we get our first 14 tons, it'll it'll move over to the warehouse and then from there, we should be able to sort ourselves out a fair bit. So from here, we don't necessarily need that much. Well, there's only about 29 tons. Um, so that'll give us a few, a number of days worth of with the clothing production right over there. So that's actually pretty good. I think this was a, a reasonable approach. Instead of doubling up and having 
trouble with uh, getting more workers over here. I think this setup is, is quite good. Oh, excuse me. The fact that these uh, boats are so close to each other, really, uh, I don't like it. Um, so, we are obviously haven't had any workers out over here. Um, is this one shut down? This one is actually shut down. But they're both filled up on oil, and that's getting pretty good. And these are being built, so that's just all stuff that's being trained in at the moment. Um, that's good. This should be built. So really, everything is now built over here. And we can almost start bringing in some ore or, um, or yeah, for... Um, for either ex import or export. So that's quite an interesting one. Um, I wouldn't mind getting this up and running. This would be really cool if we can just get that up and running. We would have workers here. Yeah, we do have workers over here, which is really important. I don't want to lose any of this stuff. Don't want to lose any of this stuff. So let's get workers out over here. I think, I think they can't actually walk all the way there. They can walk there, but not, not all the way there. So, and we are sending them, we're not sending them there. So that's the thing. So let's, uh, let's send workers over here. Uh, and we'll drop the bus platform a fair bit and we'll up the train platform. So we'll do something like that and see how that goes. I'm actually purchasing fuel here. Oh yes, I was purchasing fuel here because we had some of these guys that is just parking here. So what I thought we could do is we could get some of this fuel to... Um, we are, we're obviously getting this fuel to come in over here. So I thought what we could do is we could also bring in the fuel um, right in here so we can stop purchasing it once we've got that up and running. We've got an extra slot here and we'll probably... Mm, it's just a little tight right here to be honest. We'll have to see how that works. We'll have to see how that works. Let's get a, let's get more trains running. Let's get more trains running over here. Are you doing anything? Now we're starting to see some fabrics. Okay, so now we can open this guy up for business. And maybe we, we started off with just like half. Yeah, we'll go with half the uh, capacity. Yeah, because that one's running at half the capacity and probably all of these are not even close. We need way more workers over here to get this thing um, running at a reasonable rate. Oh, I did uh, I did add an extra heating plant and I believe now our heating woes over here is all sorted. Um, definitely uh, going to keep a close eye on that. How far is our boat going? Oh, our first um, Type 587 loss is almost ready and that's the one that's going to be uh, an ore, um, ore carrier, I believe. I'm probably going to... You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put two more of these guys on that, so you can start. I can't wait for the line spacing to become a thing that you can set per line. That would be so cool. Um, you again, we're going to put onto that one and we're going to start you off. That's fine. So we'll have tons of ferries running. And then once this guy's ready, we'll park it over here and we'll see how, uh, how we can work with that. Lots of stuff happening. Um, is our population growing? We, it's pretty stagnant, to be honest. And look at these escapes. It's the escapes that are crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I do wonder whether it is due to the clothing. We don't have tons of people living with their parents, so it's definitely not them escaping, I can tell you that much. Um, so it must be the clothing. So hopefully now, um, again, what's going to need to happen is we're going to have to um, get 20 tons of stuff in here. So let's just get another uh, worker train going. I think if we get an extra worker train going. So worker trains for this, for that little section there is pretty much three, three wagons. Are we, uh, let's stop this. I, I can't do with, uh, with all of that. Um, let's just close this guy down for now. I'm not going to continue to waste resources on these wagons if I don't have a plan for them. Uh, what did I need over here? This was the, uh, this was the, um, Oh, I still haven't got those ready to go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, trains, one passenger wagon here. I've got plenty of passenger wagons somewhere. Oh, that's the one. This one can work. Um, let's clear that out. Three is exactly what I'm after. Let's set it to the line. Um, now, for passengers, did we, is it really, is it this thing? Yeah, it seems to be that one. It seems to be that one. 
So can I open that line? So it actually doesn't have, we don't have anything else in here, right? So let's, um, <clears throat> let's just rename this to the, um, well, we'll just do that. Uh, Durbansk to Vranska, right? Something like that. That's what we're doing. Braska. And I know, I know. There we go. So we'll save that guy. So at least we can associate this train with that very same line there. And we say, let's go, buddies. And I'm wondering whether that's the train that will ultimately continue on to, um, to the port. But it's a bit of a distance. So, so really, one of the things that I'm also considering is let's start planning out a little bit, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a city here that can, well, that can at least provide the workers that we need over there. And you know what I'm going to do with regards to a city? I'm going to make sure that we start a station nice and central. Um, that's fine. I'm not going to sink this one. I'm not going to sink this one. So let's uh, let's plan out the city over here a little bit. So let's get our platform station. I'm going to do the nice and big one. We've got really big ones. That one. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's, um, is that a terminal? Oh, that's a terminal station. That's a terminal station. I don't want a terminal station. We'll, uh, we'll pass through. Oh, that sh that's short. That's really short. This is longer, isn't it? And then the term, oh, the terminal is just really long. Uh, sorry about that, guy. I'm just going to have a quick look here. Okay, now the terminal is much longer than these guys. Just going to come over here and see. That's why the others look so short, because the terminal is much longer. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't necessarily think a terminal station here is, 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 is the most useful of, of them all. So the rather we go with, the, with this kind of arrangement right over here. So we'll have our rails running a little bit like this, and I'm going to do Okay, so we could do with a bit of a city name over here. Oh, I think that's fine. That's gonna that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Now let's uh, let's plan out our our streets. And what we'll do is mm, problem is these streets take so long to uh, w when we upgrade some of these guys, it's a it's a big issue. So let's do something like this. Okay, and then we're gonna definitely need to get our rails in place. So let's make sure that that's. Kind of gonna give us a little bit of room. And it could be that we actually do a little bit of a roundabout over there. Okay, I had a bit of a crash, guys, and uh, I'm not too sure why, but uh, but anyway, um, it's it's good, it's all good. I'm gonna run this one out a little bit like so. So there's room for some buildings around the station. And then the intent is really to, um, yeah, so we're not, we can't do that. So if I do this, and then we kind of, yeah, so that's, it's really difficult to do the, uh, the little roundabout thing. So with that in mind, let's um, trim that back a little bit. And you know what? We could we could make it a little bit more interesting by uh, having a little bit of an extended, like oval type shape there. Uh, let's not do that. Let's start it all from this side. I think that's going to be just fine. I think that's going to be just fine. Is that uh, different topographies and stuff? Slightly, slightly minor. So we'll we'll trim that back. So that's going to be kind of our, and we'll get some linens and stuff in there. That's good. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll run this. The river edge over here um, and we'll get that guy to lead up into this direction and we'll get this guy to lead up over there and then we'll start curving it and stuff like that so that's going to be our our next um our next city we're going to need to um get a little bit of rail connections and stuff to come in here and we'll feed it in there that's going to be okay so let's um now where shall we run this 
Okay, so what we'll do is we'll try and get the, the rail guys to, to come and build this out. So the interesting thing is, I'd, I'd rather we... Yeah, so something like that. Is about all we need to do, right? Because we, we it's, it's one way. This is one way. So, so really, that should be sufficient. That that is going to be sufficient. We only need to do, do onto the one side. There are crossing, um, crossing options later, um, later on. So that's that's going to be good. Um, hmm. In terms of building it, though, I'll have to build a little section, and then we'll get the uh, the, the the construction crews to come and do the rest. So what I need us to do is uh, get a nice smooth curve. Where's my... Nice smooth curve like that. Yeah, actually that's going to be pretty good. And then we'll... I don't like the fact if we did a terminal, we, it means we can't actually get out into the other direction at, uh, at some point into the future, and that is going to be um, the problem, really. So that's kind of the the, the, the thing that I'm going to do there. I'm going to plan it out like so, and now do that. Something like this. I am wondering how exactly we need to do that, though. Let me trim that back a little bit. It does look weird because it's um, because it's got the platforms in the in the middle, and uh, we're obviously not not building. Uh, what are we actually building? We're building these guys, right? No, don't 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 tie into it. Yeah, to be honest, I think is that is that more appropriate? I actually like that a fair bit. I actually like that a fair bit. Um, and what we could do is we could we could actually this can be the through one and these can be and, and we can later do a little bit of work on that yeah absolutely so i like that i like that let's do that we'll uh, we'll start off with that as our as our train station uh what we will however do is let's um let's uh provide enough room to get a couple of bridges well let's plan it out at least so that we uh the idea is that we'll have some roads here that can bridge across can bridge across to the other side. If we're even yeah, we should really be planning around this area. So that's that's kind of the that's kind of the idea. That is kind of the idea. Let's quickly go back and see how we're doing on the clothes, because maybe we can start moving clothes around a little bit more. Um, anything in here clothes wise? Very little little bits of clothing is now starting to appear um, in our and that thing is full. I can probably trim this down a little. Oh, we've got the two. Oh, we obviously have the two in there now. Let's um, let's uh, up this game a little bit. See if we can get um, clothing moving a little quicker. If we can get clothing moving a little quicker. That will be good. So we have now two trains that's running this this movement for us. 178 workers. So that's still a pretty. The train can take 375. We're nowhere near that. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to send you back. There we go. Now we should have them um, a bit better spaced, I think. We should have them a bit better spaced. Nice. So hopefully we're getting a ton of guys in here now. Uh, still not that much. 
but clothing is starting to pick up. So what we can do, there is a clothing train. I believe there is a clothing train. Let's just get the clothing train sorted out. Yeah. So the clothing rail distribution um, goes to IC3 combined storage. Um, it comes to, what is this guy? Where is that guy? Where is this? Whoa, where is this? Yeah, that's an, that's not, yeah, I've got numerous names that kind of look the same or are the same, maybe. So they go from there and then they go to IC3. So I'm thinking from there, they can go to, they can then go to uh, and pick up some more clothing. And maybe then IC3 is not where you should be getting your clothing from. All right, now nah, let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's just, um, let's just go after IC3, you pop in over here and uh, what you do is you, uh, no, 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 oh yes, you, uh, you load, you load more clothing, you load more clothing and then you go to IC3, yeah, I think so, I think that should be fine. Let's, uh, let's place that, let's, let's put that one in there and hopefully we'll move a little bit more clothing around. It's at least the intention, is that we move a little bit more clothing around because we are, wow, we're getting very few workers out here, very few. How many are you at? 148? Yeah, we need way more workers, guys. Way more workers, what's our population looking like? Wow, look at that. We're still probably losing people due to the fact that so many people are escaping. The escapes just has to be due to um, the availability of electronics and clothing and stuff, right? Clothing is the low one. Um, the others, I think we're okay with the others. Okay, now there's a fair bit of people there now. Can we hopefully get more clothing going? We don't need that much clothing. I think this will uh, will make a substantial difference. Okay, I'm gonna get back over here. Um, I don't think we have got enough workers to start with because we need like a, what? We've got workers. My goodness. My goodness, it's working. So this one is closed, that's fine. So this one is working. Excellent. That is excellent. So this is working. So we're producing fuel. Uh, I'm assuming you have to fill yourself up first. No. Where, where's all my fuel going? Oh, you know what? It's probably going in here. There we go. That is in fact it. So we'll just make sure that stores only that. And this one stores only bitumen. And that's awesome. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. It's very low numbers of workers coming in through here. So um, that's obviously the, the issue. So we've got some workers coming in. So we'll start having some fuel available over there. Now, let's get a few things planned in here. So we'll spend the last 10 or so minutes of this episode. And um, 10 or 15 minutes of the episode. And just plan out our new... Um, our new city, city hall, or our, our new little city in here. So let's get the, the basics in place here. I would like a pretty large maximum number of workers. Maximum number of workers is 80 on this one. I've got a new one. Um, so I think, I think that, I'll put a hospital over here. I don't mind that. I honestly don't mind that. That's pretty good. We'll need a pretty sizable fire station. We could do hospital fire station combination over here. So let's just get a fire station. There's a pretty sizable fire station. This guy, what's the size of this? Uh, uh, this is this is reasonable. This is a reasonable one, and it looks it certainly looks the part for like the city the city center type setup over here. So let's. Um, Let's see about um, running that straight like that and we'll make sure to tie that in there and we'll connect that one up and we'll see about the rest of the stuff. So that's uh, that's okay. Now we do need a shop. 
So let's get the modded shops and get a big shopping center. Um, I like myself this one, 35 tons. Yeah, this is a pretty huge one. And I feel like it 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 uh, it fits the it fits the part over here pretty well. I like it. I like it. All kind of pointed into that general direction. That is fine. Uh, we definitely need. Oh, the fact that it's only got the one connection is the problem, really. What do we have here? Do we have anything here? So this is, just feels too small. That one's okay, and that one has the multiple connections. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one, uh, just because uh, this one has the multiple connections. So now we need it to. Oh man, that that really does look the part. Let's get it not quite on top of it, but something like that. I like it. That really does look quite good. And we can of course have that one tie in over there. We'll need some storages for it. Let's get some storages going. Okay, so we need coal storage and the other one. So we'll get a get ourselves a cold storage, maybe something like that. Uh, you know what, if we do it this way, we can have a station, uh, some kind of a loading station or something. So we'll do, let's do that. And then <clears throat> the other one that I want is, um, I'm assuming a, a smallish, smallish one can be okay. That should be able to accommodate most of the stuff that's necessary here. Um, I think this is going to be just fine. We'll get it in there. It'll be a little, a little nice little square there. And now we just need to make sure that we've got a, a little station, road cargo station over here. I don't even mind it doing all of that. There we go. We'll get a bit of a road connection up there. Let's tie that one in. There we go. So now we've got a store here. Uh, what we could probably do is run this road over here and tie that in. Oh, beautiful. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. Now we've got a few other things. We'll have to see how we tie it off before we get to um, to the hill. So we're not going to go up there. We might leave room for a rail to run through here because if this is a pretty long city, what we may do is we might run rail next to the uh, next to the side of the mountain there. Okay, that's the now we need. We will need. Um, a little bit of work with regards to uh, heating. Now, we've got rail running in here, so heating over here is probably about right. So let's get a couple of heating plants. And we need about two. So let's get them pretty close, but not very close. So what I'm after is we probably need two heating plants. We need a free excavator over here. So we'll just uh, move it down a little bit so we can get one heating there and probably need another one right over here and we can get a bit of a bus station at the back or we could even do a bit of a rail facility. Okay, so if we do that, let's move it away a little bit. We'll get a double heating station so we can get a fair bit of heating going on over there. Now, we will need um, something to get the coal here. Uh, coal should be pretty straightforward with the train facility. So let's, um, let's see about getting a, a aggregate storage. I think we're just using the same old um, storages. Give me a, a, a large can get a rail. No, large can't get a rail. Small. Small gets the double in, but the single out, which I find really interesting and this this is about the setup that we're going to need the small really doesn't work that well let's get the big one instead because the big one you can almost tie the big one in straight away yeah and it'll work look at this i'm uh, i'm quite comfortable with that oh it didn't it didn't take it didn't take hang on let's uh, let's see about getting it to take why? It was just working. 
overlaps existing construction. Well, let's let's try that again. Let's uh, demolish this guy. We'll get we'll try it one more time. The game is running. Uh, the big one. Well, that should work. Really, it should. Come on. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay, now we'll get a, a rail unloading facility over here so that we can at least unload it. Train aggregate unloading. It's a massive, it's a massive building, isn't it? So we'll do this. So we can end up filling that guy up. That's fine. We'll see about the running around that way. That should be okay. So we've got that. So this is going to be like our heating facility. What we will need to do is if uh, this is this is very few workers So really buses is, is the is the way to go here So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that we in fact run A bit of a bus station in here now a modded platform station kind of thing Platform station in and out kind of thing maybe that it's an interesting looking bus uh actually i think if we do it this way i don't I, i'm not gonna that's gonna be pretty good if we do it this way should be able to get everybody where they want to go so if we do that uh that's not bad uh we don't need the Do we need to do, do we need to go that far? If we wanted to build something else in here, maybe a fire station um, over here, that might be a reason enough for us to to add a little bit of space there. Can we? What, I, what I'm trying to do is make make sure we get it pretty straight on, so that we can do this kind of setup. And now what we'll do is we'll find a line and run it back towards the city. Uh, not not a fan of what we what uh, what that that is looking like. So let's um, yes, that's the one. That is in fact the one. Uh, ooh. Now the question is, we could run this a little bit like this. Yeah, we probably will need something here. So let's um, let's uh, let's get rid of the curve there, and what we'll do is we'll we'll run this guy through here. And we'll just make sure to tie in all of this. So that's kind of what our setup is going to look like. That's kind of our heating setup. Uh, what we do need to bear in mind is that we need a bit of a rail connection to come in through here, but it can hug the road there and then come in on this side with a little bit of extra space. Not not too not too bad, not too bad. Now, I think this needs to tie in over there with a bit of a bridge. So certainly that seems like a reasonable one to do. So we can do a bit of a bridge over there. It could maybe even be a, a, older, a older style bridge. We can tie that in and we can split off on the other side of the bridge and, and all these kind of things as well. Let's, uh, let's, let's see about that. Let's see about um, getting a, a bit of a bridge connection going. So if we do that, can we reasonably cross this? We can. So if that's, is that, that, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Um, it may now not be as as nice as I wanted it to be. So if we do that, alternatively, if we run into this direction now, I think it's probably best we run across that way. Um, and then what we might, we might do is we may hug hug the edge over here, or we get this guy to ah, this guy is probably what we're going to need to. Um, run into this direction. So because this is going to be kind of town, 
for a while. Let's um, let's get it get it out. Well, hmm. I think we're probably going to need a little something in here. So let's uh, let's run a straight line. Let's run this one down. That's uh, probably fairly straight. What we'll do is we'll do a bit of this, and then from this point onwards, uh, we'll have the uh, the nicer roads. We do that. I actually, think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to trim this back because I don't want this to be a four-way. I think that's going to be that's going to be fine. That's going to give you the crossing of there. Um, we've got the rail stuff. Uh, potentially we can squeeze additional rails through here. I'm not sure that's going to work. Can we put maybe? Ooh, don't do that. Don't do that. Can we put a road through there? Oh, we can. We can put a road through there, guys. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that is a good little spot there. Now. Um, we will need to bring heating in all the way over here. So let's um, try and determine what our furthest away heating stations could be. And then how we're going to run that in. We obviously need to bring in a ton, a ton of, um, we need to bring in a ton of, um, yeah, no workers here at the moment. Bus is running around, going crazy, going nuts. Um, we, we probably need to bring in heating over here. Ton of heating. <laughs> yeah, we'll need to bring in a lot of stuff here. So that'll be workers that can go out that way. We'll get the little town coming around here. So we just need to make sure that we've got our heating set up pretty much done. So let's get a heat exchanger. Uh, town center heat exchanger. A uh, ton of heating pipes is what we're really gonna need to bring in here. So I'm kind of tempted to do one over on this side and then maybe one all the way up here at the train station. Okay, so they've got two heating, heating stations already because we're going to be pretty dense here. And then we might bring in one down a little bit this way. But anyway, let's get a few more roads built or um, planned. To do that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against that. That that works for me. Hopefully, they we won't have a lot of people passing through there. Probably need a few parking spots. Is that the big one? So what I'm keen on is let's use what we've got there. It's not. Um, let's go crazy. So if we do something like that and we and we tie these together, we will be able to do a little bit of this. Get a little bit out of there and out of there. And can we do this? Oh beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So now I've got a few parking spots in here next to the shopping center at least. Now we will need. Yeah, we're not gonna plan out this area as much, I think, because. Depending on what we're doing with the train station, that might be a bit of a challenge. So really, our our, our city city center area is going to have to be this area here. So what do we have in terms of amenities? We still need a few other bits and pieces. So let's get ourselves um, maybe a modded sports playground or something. Sports playground. Um, something sizable. Do we... It's just going to be such a challenge to get some of these things built. I wouldn't mind squeezing in something, but it's, it feels like it's too big. It just feels like it's too big. How many people do we have working here? So let's just get a few of these guys going on. Um, we'll get that, um, that spool, uh, get something over there. We'll get this gym.
We'll, uh, we'll find a spot. We'll find a spot to tie that in, um, and then. So we've got a couple of this going on now. We need some cultural pieces. So we need a cinema, cinema, and a, oh, let's get a city hall. Um, let's uh, let's get this one. This uh, this city hall feels a little bit more appropriate, and I'm I'm quite comfortable to have it. Um, Tie in there because this little road I don't think is going to go go to too many other places. So let's um, let's get this to to go in, and we'll move it back a little bit so there's a little bit more room. There we go, something like that. Oh, this is the problem. This is the problem with this stuff. Anyway, I'm quite comfortable with it as it stands, so that's okay. None of it can be built because none of it's connected just yet. Um, and we can still change it as we need to, but that's that's kind of the, the intent here. Um, so there's a city hall. What are we? I was busy getting the uh, cinema stuff. Um, let's get some. Let's get one of the vanilla ones going on. Uh, that's the shopping center, actually. This is the cinema. I I like this idea. Of the cinema right over there then we'll get the um we'll need to get so we've got the cinema over there then i'm thinking we need maybe another theater or something over here so let's get that modded cinema and we'll grab ourselves one of these theaters or something um, a main library that's not bad a republic theater wow that's huge maybe that's a little over the top for us at this stage that theater a small theater um that's too big Maybe a library kind of set up somewhere, a little bit set back over here somewhere. So we can have a row of houses in there. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's make room for that guy. Now, we need a few schools, so let's get a couple of schools in here. I'm going to go with the super big, what is this, 1045. I'm going to go with the big one. Um... So shall we... I'm keen that we move the school slightly out of the center of town. And we can do potentially multiple schools on, on the edges. So if we do something like that over there and we can do another kind of school, maybe something is slightly smaller. That's 45, that's 10. So maybe maybe this, this, this one instead will... Uh, We'll hug the library over here. But we'll get the little path to cross on... Mm, alternatively, we'll just do it next to the library, right over here. I like that. That's going to look the part, I think. So we've got a couple of schools. Now we need some kindergartens. Well, actually, let's start with some residential buildings. So if we go um, the residential buildings, and I'm going to finish this off now. Uh, the episode and I'll probably do a little bit of a little bit more work and planning in between episodes so I'm hoping you're enjoying a little bit of a town layout over here I'm not going to do the same thing that we've done in Durbansk what we're going to do is we're going to find um, something that's slightly more high density right 225 workers kind of set up there what are we doing 12 stories 11 stories what is this I'm not sure how much stories that is 12 stories. It seems like 12 stories around here would be pretty good. If we use some of these guys, they're pretty good and they take 225 workers. That's a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent amount. So if we go in here, yeah, I'm going to use that style, to be honest. Um, and let's, um, now what I don't like is the fact that they only have access points to the one side. I, I honestly don't like that. So what we really need to do is we need to uh, get them right up and close and personal to the to the to the road here. Hmm. Maybe that's not quite right. What is these guys? Still just the one side, and this one also just the one side. These guys should have. Oof, I'm not a big fan of those, to be honest. What else do we have? These are those. Uh, uh, they're pretty sizable, but what they're... I don't know how how many stories that we have on these guys. Uh, to be honest, I don't mind doing a little bit of this. 
What we'll need to bear in mind is that these guys would need to be able to walk there. And I think, I think it'll work. So what I'm keen on doing is doing a little bit of this. So let's... Uh, yeah, I think this will... If we get... Let's go up to about there for now. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little, uh, a little around here. Just want to, can we just get this thing to line up a little bit? If we do a little something like this. Yeah, that's that's pretty good actually that's pretty good so we'll we'll do a few of those that'll be pretty good um and then we can do some other buildings on that side maybe probably need a road in here not sure we're going to need a road all the way around though that's not bad so that's okay maybe we we won't overdo those and some of these are just huge this is 16 stories so what, are, what is our height looking like? So those are higher. So we can certainly do the 21s. Where's my 21s? I had a pretty decent looking 21 story building, which I can't find anymore. Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the 21. So these are 21s. Okay, that's beautiful. So I thought we may be able to do... So how many workers is this? 300. So these are pretty sizable. So what I thought we might do is we might... Um, we might tie in a couple of buildings over here. Actually, it might even be better to do it like this. So if we move it up there a little bit. And say here, let's try and line them up. I'm going to end this episode now, guys. Yeah, something like that. And we'll uh, kind of do a bit of symmetry on the other side. Just a little bit away. Yeah, about that much. And then we'll do a very similar thing. How much is that? About three and a bit. Let's turn it a little bit. There we go. Something like that. That is looking pretty good as a bit of a city going on over here. We should have a fair bit of stuff going on in the middle. And then we'll uh, see about planning out the rest of it. So guys, I hope you, uh, I hope this has made a little, lot of sense. It's got a nice, um, nice little lake here on the other side of the Port of Chaos. Um, obviously, we need to get some road connections in here. And I am tempted to, uh, the freeway is not going to be able to run through there or our motorway. But we may be able to get a motorway connection in through here. And that is, could look really nice if we take that and we run that all the way to the motorway. Yeah, we could. It could look pretty nice to get, get a road in there. I like it. I like it. So it's not really connected through here. But yeah, all in all, it's look, starting to look pretty good. So if you guys had a bit of a, a name suggestion for this guy, it would be cool if you do so. And uh, if you provide that to me, and uh, yeah, some suggestions would be good. Are we filling this guy up? Not quite, but that's getting getting filled up. Uh, we are seeing a few workers here every now and again, but not a not not a lot. And let's get the wireframe going. Um, we should now. Uh, let's see. Did we? No, we still have massive amounts of escapes. I'll need to have a look at the escapes. We'll need to have a look at the escapes. But we are producing tons more clothing now. So what is this guy? Dropped off a little bit of the uh, the crops over here, which is good. I think this setup is working fairly nicely. We've got plastics available. We've got um, electronics available. We're not actually picking up the electronics, by the way. Um, but anyway, we can pick up plastics and electronics over here, fill it up again. And uh, certainly we're filling up some on, on clothes over here. We could also um, get a bit of a top up of fabric if we if we should need it. Um, but really, this section is, is starting to work and look pretty nice. Do we still have... Uh, are we... 
I'm kind of wondering whether people are kind of deserting from over here. I'm pretty sure I filled these guys up. So I need to figure out what exactly is missing over here. It seems okay. Clothing. Missing clothing. Missing clothing. It might be the clothing thing. Hopefully we can start seeing a bit more clothing um, taken up in some of these stores. Uh, not there. Uh, I don't think I'm actually dropping off here yet. Uh, how about this one? How about this one? Clothing? Still no clothing? Okay, I need to fix the clothing situation because I think that's the problem. I think that's why we're getting getting all of that done. And now we should be producing a fair bit more clothing to sort all of those issues out. What's our population looking like? Oh man, we're still we're dropping like a stone. Um, yeah, I need to I need to fix that. I need to fix that. In between episodes, I'll fix that, and hopefully in the next one, um, things will be running a lot more smoother. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you've got some ideas, suggestions, and all those kind of things, leave them in the comments. Bye bye.